Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I am Lex. And today we're looking at terraforming ideas for Animal Crossing. You know, I didn't mean to start at a place that could be inspo, but this itself is a little land bridge I made. Could be inspiration, terraforming wise. What I really wanted to start with today is this little neighborhood that I built. Imagine me featuring my own build. What? What a narcissistic activity. But no, I think this is cute. I love a good hop hop area. So obviously I was just beside one house right there. And then you can hop across and there's a little island with another villager home. It's so cute. I was so proud of this waterfall behind as like a view while you're jumping. I don't know. I feel like the hop hops can be a little annoying at times. I'm like, wow, I don't wanna have to pause and do these hops but it makes up for it because boom, terraforming in the background. I'm proud of the terraforming in the background and the little islands for the houses. I think it just all went together really well. And I think this is a cute and adaptable build that you could do with any of the themes you might have. So yeah, super cute, Raymond approved, as you can see. For the second island of the day, I really love this build, not just because it's really beautifully done, but because I feel like this can be a very tricky part of the island to terraform. So it is right here at the river mouth and the river mouth is very close to the edge of the island. So we've just got this tiny corner and I think this creator has done such a beautiful job designing it. The pathway going through feels so nice. The wheat fields, the other decor, the waterfalls themselves are so natural and pretty. I just think this turned out amazing. And given the space constraints here, that's even more impressive. I think it's just really cleverly done. This is so cool. Here is a better view so you can see all of the waterfalls at play here. They're so pretty. It looks amazing. Okay, for this next one, I need you to like brace yourself for the view because oh my goodness, let me show you. Look at this museum build. Look at the, hello? How like, not to be disrespectful, but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Are you gonna look me in my eyes and tell me this isn't one of the prettiest Animal Crossing builds you've ever seen in your life? The terraforming, the placement of the museum, the trees, the fact that some of them are stunted. This is phenomenal. Like walking up to this, I felt like I was having an out of body experience because how, how do I compute? How do I compute this? It is accessible by the way, you can, um, run right over here to the museum. Look at this little area, what the heck? This is so cute. Anyway, the museum is fully accessible, so even though it looks a little aloof and away on this cliff, you can 100% still go and talk to Blathers, donate some bugs if you wanna ruin his day. This is just otherworldly, phenomenal, 12 out of 10. I don't know how to come back from this. Okay, so this next terraforming hinges on this little yard. I think the creator said this is Shino's house or Coco perhaps, but look at this. There's a little rock garden here around this fountain, this bridge. And then you come back here and there's feature terraforming. Look how cute it is. A little sunken waterfall feature in the back of the garden. That is so pretty here. So you can see it a little better. The double waterfall in the back. I think that's so cool. A good way to fill, you know, some awkward little space in the back of the island. Obviously this house is right next to the end of the island and that waterfall perfectly filled up a space that could otherwise have been a little bit awkward to figure out. It also just looks super pretty and I love all the custom designs here. What a view for this villager. Okay, so this is right behind resident services. And first of all, let's just appreciate this little floating forest. Hello. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing all these trees are like right next to each other. Hello. Hello. But no, there is that train in the background. I'm going to try to get a better view of it in a second for you. But there's like a waterfall. Okay, let me just show you. Let me just show you. So if you come over here, there's a little train. It's full of gyroids, by the way, which is so cute. And then we've got all these trees in the background that are so pretty. And there's waterfall features in the back. But look at it. It's just this little like land bridge going through for the railroad tracks surrounded by water. I think this is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a train like this going through like elevated over some water. It's so pretty. Let me also show you the wide angle photo that the island creator provided so you can really appreciate all the waterfalls going on. Is this not absolutely stunning? Okay, first of all, for this island, the colors and custom designs are so vivid and bright. I love it here. It's so happy. This is like an underwater themed island. Hi, Lily. Hi, excuse me, Lily. Look at this. 
I swear, there is something about the museum that just inspires, like, a grand build, something very majestic. It's just... I mean, I myself have fallen prey to the museum's majesty. I don't know what it is. Something about the building. You just have to terraform amazingly here. And that is what has occurred. I love that shell bed. I think all of the bright items around the museum are so cute. I love the items in the back, the wedding organs, I think, that are making the museum seem even more palatial. It's just... It's just so cool. People are so talented. Here's a full view without me in the way. The shell arch too is really nice. I just think all of these items and colors go really well together and it's so vibrant. Also, I mean to say this during the first island every time and forget, but if you are interested in visiting these islands, most of them do have dream addresses available in the description. You can check those out and go and visit the creators. See what other things they've created because I promise you will not be disappointed. I mean, look at this. Look at the vibes here. You could visit this island for yourself and explore the whole thing. Go do it. It is never a bad time to revisit hop hop spots. And this one is so cute. We've got this little painting area with the butterfly models. I've never thought to use them as literal models. Like, look at this. How clever. But we've got little hop hop spots across here to a seating area and a beautiful bridge. The terraforming is just really lovely. Both the hop hop spots here in the water and also the way the bridge fits in. These cliffs coming out, extending over. Everything is just so well designed and well decorated. And then look at this. Look at this view across from the bridge. There's just a lot going on here and it all fits together so seamlessly. I think that is one of the most impressive things about terraforming when creators manage to fit so much in a small area and it all goes together super well, very perfectly. This is just a stunning, stunning build. Okay, so this is a fairy tale inspired island and how cute is this welcome mat? How precious! But no, another area like the museum that always inspires like grand terraforming is the entrance to the island. And this is no exception. This is beautiful waterscaping. And then we've got framing on either side by these bridges. This is one of my favorite bridges in the game, by the way. I think it's so aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, so we've got these little gyroids too. They're like little guards. They're welcoming you. It does kind of feel like walking into Narnia, non-winter. Um, this is just really really beautiful I think. Look at the custom designs, how well everything fits together. And then the flowers and the trees adding height, the bridges. I just, uh, I love it. I think bridges and inclines do play a big role in terraforming. You've got to work your terraforming around where you want to place bridges and things. And so it's just really lovely to see how people work these things into their islands. Okay, this isn't even the part of this island that I'm going to feature, but hello, look at this walkway with the waterfalls. Hello! The area I do want to feature is here. This creator has made hot springs behind the museum. Like, this is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. What a creative way to do it using the cypress baths. They're so nice. I also love the lead up here. The little towels on the benches are so cute. All of the bamboo items in use. That mushroom lamp in the middle is really doing it for me. I think that was a great design choice. I think this area really spotlights how much you can fit in a relatively small area. Like this would be an awkward place to fit some stuff based on like where bridges and all are around it. The museum, like I said, is on the cliff in the bottom right corner. So it's like not an area you might have expected to see something like this. And this creator has fitted in once again seamlessly. Everyone that I feature is just a mastermind, apparently, at Animal Crossing. I don't know where you all went to school for terraforming, but let me know. Bro, I am not kidding. I forgot that I was going to Zinnia. And so I got here and I was like, did someone steal my island flag? Oh my gosh. Anyway, do you ever walk through your own island and just feel like, how did I make this? Because that's me right now. I'm like, when, how? how? There's a whole playlist of how. I literally, I filmed the speed builds for this, but this is throwing me for a loop. Here's the terraforming I wanted to showcase. I am super proud of this. I think it turned out really well. I think it's dynamic. I really like that the middle waterfall is back further than the two on the left and right. I just think that turned out really nicely and it provides a view for this land bridge that I made. Here's how it looks as I'm just walking across here. I love the little coconut trees. Like, okay, past me. Okay. I was also proud of this because it did lead to a little secret area. Like it's kind of hard to find this place on my map if you don't watch my tour and see how I do it, like how to get back here. 
But yeah, I think it's super cute and it's just like a little hidden away area back here. Tons of terraforming in the back of the island. I was vibing. Thank you so much to my channel members. You all are incredible. You're the best. I appreciate you so much. If you would like to become a member, the link is in the description for you to do so. You'll gain access to special channel emotes and messages, things, stuff. You can read the perks. And with that, I leave you all. I hope you're feeling inspired and I will see you in the next Lex Play video. Bye!